Hi everyone, this is Mike89, hopefully with a, um, a picture this time. Uh, so, this video is just going to announce the game list for the Sonic Speed R event, which is coming up in just a few weeks from now. Um, so, it starts on the 1st of June, as you can see, it's a Wednesday. Our very first game is going to be Sonic Generations. And that's just going to be a straight playthrough of the game, start to finish, uh, beat, beat Time Eater, that's the end of the run. Uh, the next day is going to be 8-bit Sonic 1. Um, with this, you'll want to bear in mind that the we're using uh, speedruns live rules, which means that all races are going to be in real time. So you probably don't want to trigger those massive time bonuses that you can get in a couple of stages. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Um, as well, uh, being the 8-bit version, um, the Game Gear and the Master System versions are both allowed. Uh, Friday, the third, is going to be Sonic Heroes. Um, that's going to be as Team Sonic. As a general rule, any time there's an option for what character you're going to be using, it's going to be Sonic. Um, for this, it's also console versions only. Um, we're not going to allow the PC version as part of this race, but if you have one of the console versions, you're okay. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, Saturday, the 4th, is going to be Sonic CD. That's going to be beat the game as Sonic. Uh, you don't need to get the time stones or get the good ending or anything like that. Uh, you can use either the original version or the 2011 remaster. Either of those are fine for this race. Um, on Sunday the 5th, that's going to be Sonic 06. That's going to be Sonic Story and no mission select glitch. If you don't know what that is, then you don't need to worry about it because you're not going to trigger it, and that's going to be fine. Uh, moving on to Monday the 6th, 8-bit Sonic 2, um, same, Master System or Game Gear versions are fine, uh, and again, the time bonus issue, just be aware of it. Um, Tuesday the 7th is Sonic Advance 2, and that's, again, and, uh, beat the game as Sonic. Uh, you don't need to do the Super Sonic stage, that uh, that will end at XX zone. Um, Sonic Chaos, any percent as Sonic. Bit yeah, beat the game as Sonic. Emeralds not required. Uh, Thursday Sonic Unleashed is going to be a little bit different. So this is going to be the uh, 360 or PlayStation 3 version, and it's going to be all day stages. So for so how that's going to work is you start from a completed file and you play through each of the um, each of the day stages. And I'm going to link a video in the description that will show you what that actually looks like and what stages you play. Because there are also um, there are also DLC stages that can confuse the issue slightly. We're not playing the DLC stages because we're not expecting everyone to have them. Uh, Friday the 10th is Sonic Advance. Again, that's going to be beat the game with Sonic. Um, if you've already unlocked the Moon Zone, uh, you don't need to play that. Ends at X Zone. Uh, Sonic Adventure DX on the 11th. That will be Sonic Story. Um, only Sonic Story, not any of the others. Uh, Sunday the 12th, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Beat the game as Sonic. Um, again, this will end at Death Egg 2. You don't, even if you do get all the emeralds or a set of emeralds, um, the race ends at Death Egg 2. You don't have to play the Doomsday Zone. Uh, moving on, Monday the 13th is Sonic Advance 3. This is just going to be beat the game with whichever characters you want because obviously you're using two characters at a time and it's hard to mandate that you just use Sonic the whole time. Uh, but again, doesn't include the Super Sonic stage. Ends at Ultra Emerald. Uh, Tuesday the 14th, Sonic Triple Trouble, beat the game as Sonic, nothing too unusual there. Um, Wednesday the 15th is Sonic and the Black Knight for Wii. Um, I've been informed that that game needs to start from a fresh file, but I think you can make a file without deleting your old ones. I don't know anything about this game, I'm getting my information from Flying Fox. Um, that should be... Simple enough. Uh, Thursday the 16th, Sonic Rush is going to be beat the game as Sonic. Um, 
it's recommended here that you start with a complete file because that will mean that you can skip the cutscenes between stages. Uh, Friday the 17th is Sonic Colors. Uh, Sonic Colors we're going to play in the egg shuttle mode, so that will mean you do have to have a completed file. Other than that, it's just simple beat the egg shuttle mode. And again, it's going to be using the real time, the game time doesn't matter. Uh, Saturday the 18th is going to be Sonic 2. Just beat the game as Sonic. Um, Sunday, Sonic Adventure 2. This is this is the big one. Sonic Adventure 2's 15th anniversary on this day. Uh, so I'm expecting that to be a nice big race. Uh, that's going to be running through the hero story. Um, Monday the 20th, Sonic 4 Episode 1. Just play all the stages, beat X Station. Uh, Tuesday the 21st, Sonic 3D Blast, just straight playthrough of the game, you don't need to play the extra stage, ends at Panic Puppet 3. Uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2, again, just play through all the stages. Sonic 1, this is, this is the other big day, this is Sonic 1's 25th anniversary, which is the whole reason we're doing this, and that's just going to be a straight playthrough of the game. No need for the emeralds or anything. Um, Friday the 24th is Sonic R, and that, for the only time in the event, is going to be 100%. Now that means that you've got to get all of the emeralds in the stages, you've got to unlock all of the characters, so you unlock Super Sonic, as well as all of the, char uh, the track, each of the tracks has their own unique unlockable character. And this one ends when you beat the Radiant Emerald stage. And then finally, I'm going to leave the last game as a bit of a surprise. Um, I will say, it's a straight playthrough, just from start to finish. Um, I will also say that it's a game that very few people participating in this will know well, but that anyone will be able to play, because you can emulate it pretty easily. So, that's what the next, well, not the next 25 days, but the first 25 days of June are going to look like. Um, you'll notice that some of the games are in bold. The ones in bold here are the ones that uh, Paulie9990 has agreed that he'll be able to stream onto the Sonic Speed Marathon channel. Um, if you're able to help restream any of these other races, uh, please let me know because it would be really nice if we could stream, have a stream every day and not have some of the lesser known games be left in the dark. Um, other than that, if you have any questions about how this is all going to go, um, can I direct you to either the Marathon Event Twitter, which is Sonic Speedthon, this one, or else my personal account, at Sega Junkie. And at that, I'll end this video. And I hope to see you all in June.